there friends! So I'm here today with a Primark haul, plus some other things that are not from Primark, but I figured I'd just throw in anyways, but they'll be at the end, so you can skip that if all you want to see is Primark stuff. Um, today I went to the Dundee Primark, and this is actually the first time I've ever not gotten the large Primark bag, so I'm pretty proud of myself. Um, I have to say, it's mostly like accessory type stuff, but let's get started! The first thing I picked up are two more pairs of these socks. They're just little ankle socks that have the frills um, at the top of them, and they're just a pound fifty each. I really love them. I'm actually wearing a pair right now, but they're actually quite hard to find in the States. Or not even that they're qu quite hard to find, but whenever you do find them, they're quite expensive. So I figured I may as well pick up two more pairs. This is actually the only like really clothing item that I picked up, but it is this knit tank top. It's quite cropped. Um, it is striped, and I just really love it. It's a trend that I've seen a lot of, particularly in the UK, um, this like knitwear. And I thought it was really pretty. I know Zoe Sugg has it. She showed it in her latest Primark haul, and it was just, let's see, it was just five pounds. So I really like it, and I think it'll be super cute. I actually sized way up just because I wanted it to fit a bit more baggy. Okay, I'm kind of counting on the fact that my friends won't watch this, but I picked up this cute Hogwarts phone case. It has the Hogwarts crest, and it's in Gryffindor colors. And uh, it is for my friend Newber, um, and it was just three pounds, so I couldn't resist. I also bought a present way early for my friend Stephanie. Please, Stephanie, if you're watching this, skip over this part. Um, but it is a white t-shirt. It's a bit wrinkled, but I wanted the bigger size so that it, because it's white. Um, but it says, you know nothing, Jon Snow. And Steph is a huge uh, Game of Thrones fan, so I know that she will love this. Um, and I'm so excited to be able to give that to her. A bit boring, but I picked up some more of these hair clips. They're a pound for all four. I have been loving these small ones. I actually broke one of them, so I need to replace it. And it comes with the two big ones. I gave the large black one to my friend Christina because I already have one. Um, but yeah, they're really nice clips, and I really like how they stay in my hair really well. I also picked up this little rollerball perfume, um, because I wanted something, I typically wear my Zoella body mist, but it's in like a glass bottle, so I'm going to be able to pack it somewhere safely, and I'm going to be packing up fairly soon, so I wanted something that I could like, take with me, and be using while that's packed up. And the rollerballs are really nice, because you just like, roll it on, and spread it around wherever you want to put it. Um, and I actually rather like this scent. Like, I wouldn't necessarily wear it every day normally, but I think it's quite nice, and it has polka dots on it, which are my favorite. So, I had to pick it up, and it was just two pounds, if I didn't already say that. Kind of boring, but I bought a eyeshadow and concealer brush for a pound. I really quite like the Primark brushes. I got a foundation brush last time I was there, and I've been using it all the time, and I really quite like it. I think it's really cute how they have the tips kind of, like, pink. Um... But yeah, I just picked that up. I don't really need it yet, but I'm thinking I might need it in the future, and so I need more brushes because I don't really have that many. I also picked up these tissues because they were little, four little packs for 60p, and they're so nice to have in my bag whenever I'm out and about instead of having loose tissues going everywhere. I also can never go into Primark without buying something for my hair. I was going to buy one of the massive flower crowns, but I was like, I'm not really going to a festival. I don't really know where I would wear this. I need to stop myself. Um, and I showed self-restraint, but I did buy this. I think it's super cute. It would be super cute to wear at Disney, too, because it just seems kind of Minnie Mouse-ish to me. But it would be super useful in costumes and just good to keep my hair out of my face. And it was a pound fifty, so. Okay, and the last two things I bought at Primark are kind of funny, but I bought myself a pair of Anna and Elsa flip-flops. So, hold up. They were just two pounds, which is not bad at all for a pair of flip-flops. Um, I remember the days when I would pay a lot of money for rainbows, but not anymore. Got to get that Anna and Elsa, so you have Anna on the one shoe and Elsa on the other. And I love Frozen. Um, obviously, I'm a huge um, musical theater fan, so the fact that it has Idina Menzel voicing a character, the fact that uh, Santino Fontana voices a character, um, gotta love Hans, is just great. And I am Princess Anna, my friends all tell me that. And I also picked up these Olaf flip-flops that say chillin' in the sunshine and they have Olaf on the beach um, for my mom and I'm really excited about giving these to her. So that is actually everything that I picked up from Primark, but I ordered a shirt from Boohoo recently and I did pop into Topshop really quickly 
and I bought some things at the Disney store. So I'm going to share those with you too now. So you may have seen online that several YouTubers designed a shirt for Boohoo um, to benefit a really good cause. I will put the link to the shirt in the description box below in case you want to find it. But I bought the one that was designed by Naomi Smart um, because it was just so me I couldn't resist. And I got it quite large so that I can wear it with leggings. And I'm really excited. Um, I'm hoping to wear it soon, but I can't wait. It says, wearing heels is a workout. And that is the most me thing. I wear heels all the time, and I like to joke that that's what I do instead of working out. So I love it. I love it. It was, I don't know how much it cost. That's really bad. It costs money. I'll leave the link in the description box. I know that it was 16 US dollars, but I don't know how much that translates to necessarily. So I'll put a link down below. I went to Topshop today because I just couldn't resist. I just love hanging out in Topshop, honestly. That store just is my aesthetic. Um, but I ended up picking up a pair of socks. They were on the sale rack, and they are maroon, which is one of my favorite colors. Um, and they have polka dots, which is one of my favorite things. And they are the taller socks, which I love wearing with leggings because I pull them up over them. And I actually do need more tall socks because I don't have that many pairs, so I couldn't resist. And then I bought my first Topshop lipstick. Um, that probably sounds a bit weird because I know that they're quite popular, but I've just never bought one before. I love the packaging. It's so pretty um, with like this rose gold on the bottom. And I bought the color Innocent, um, which I don't know if you can see that at all, but it's quite pretty. It's just a very neutral pink, which I honestly don't have any like neutrally lipsticks. This is the most neutral one that I have, and it's still quite a bit brighter than I want to wear some days if I'm wearing like dark eyeliner. Um, so I'm really excited about this. It was eight pounds, I believe, which isn't too bad, honestly, um, for lipstick. So I'm super excited about it, and the packaging is just so pretty. And last, I ended up in the Disney store, um, and they have the little Simpsons. Um, if you don't know what these are, they're little stackable stuffed animals. They came from Japan originally, and they have them now. They come out with, like, new series and new characters every month. And they have little frozen ones, so I bought myself this little spin because I couldn't resist. They're three pounds each, which is really not bad if you can actually manage to just buy one. I bought these for my sister, little Olaf and Sven. Then I bought this for another one of my friends, but I'm afraid she might watch this, so I'm not going to say who. But she loves Frozen, so I hope she likes it. They're so cute. You just want to boop their nose, like, boop. <laughs> and I was actually, like, at the till, and I put down my four Tsum Tsums, and I think the cashier lady was kind of like, okay. And then I saw they had this thing with little face cloths, magic towels, and they had a Rapunzel one, and it's got Rapunzel and Pascal, and Tangled is my favorite Disney princess movie, so I couldn't resist, and I was like, and this. <laughs> I have no idea how much this cost. It was two pounds. I probably should have looked. I assumed it was an okay price. I'm glad it was just two pounds. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm so excited about all the stuff that I got. This is probably the last shopping I'll do in the UK, but I just couldn't resist one more shopping trip because I love Primark and I love Topshop and I don't really have easy access to either of those things back in the States because we still only have Topshop in really big cities. And I just needed some Tsum Tsums. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Bye! Is this where I want to be? What you want, Warner, what you want is me.